This has got a whopping 25 turn brushed motor in it, mate. Hi guys. Hey guys, Brett. Brett here from Hearns Hobbies. I'm joined by Simon Healy and Tamara Healy as we're going to do something a bit different today. We are going to build a Tamir Euro truck, a TT01, aren't we? Tell us a little bit about our special guest there, Simon. My daughter, Tamara. Yes. Uh, she's very special. Yeah? In more ways than one. Thanks, Dad. Current state champion, Tour Drive Junior. Yes. Um, that was at Keelor. That was an awesome weekend. And currently leading the uh, Victorian Driver Series. So she loves her off-road. Yep. She's no, running no. a Kel 3. Yep. Um, which is a car we've, we've developed over the last year or so. Yep. With, 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 with the dirt gearbox, the yep. laid back gearbox, yep. and some other little bits and pieces. It's pretty much a 3.1, really. Yeah. It? Because it's got all, all, all the bits and pieces apart from probably the side pods. But she loves the car. Yep. And um, really, really has a great time racing, don't you? Yeah. Well, we're going to get out to begin Bendigo in the coming weeks. Yep. So we thought we're going to take the opportunity mm -hmm. to step it back a bit and um, build a TTO one. Well, who's going to smash this one? Um, I don't know. Myself, BJ, Tamara, whoever's there in the day. Okay, cool. Yeah? Yeah, right. So we're going to get it this looks, one. It looks too fast for me. We're going to get this one. Yeah, it's got too many turns for you. Yeah. You're used to driving like six turns and five turn motors. This has got a whopping 25 turn brushed motor in it, mate. Whoa, I'm used to, yeah. I'm just Maybe too much for you, buddy. Way too much. So, let's get stuck into it, mate, because I want to get this built today. All right, let's go. Let's go. Unbox. Excuse me while I get the box out. All right, start ripping stuff out. All right, we've got the body here. We'll get this one out of the way because we won't be using the body at all. We've got bodies painted up for that. So, do you want to just tip it all out? Why not? You do you, mate. You do you. You will anyway. Get there this, we go. Look at that. Get this decal sheet out of the way. What are we saying? Donuts. Good donuts. All right, we got the instructions over there, mate. Oh, look at the silverfish. Go for it. Silverfish. Now, I'm going to fit this kit with bearings, yeah? Because Tamir mm. kits do come with bushes. So, is that the only modification you're allowed to do for this class? Uh, you're allowed to alloy prop shaft too, I believe, but that is it. So I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to dispose of some of this stuff. Now, these bearings, I want this truck to run nice and efficient and fast. I'm actually going to lay them on a bit of tissue paper and start oiling them up. Really? Yep. That's very professional. Is it? Mm. Well, you're used to this, mate. Come on, this will be, what, our third baby together? <sighs> How many race cars have we given birth to now, mate? <laughs> huh? Come on. We've done two. Two. This, that's what I said. This hey, is well, number three. Yeah, we've got to, actually, we've got to get back on the eight scale, don't we? Yeah, that's going to come back in for a zhuzha. Right. Back on the setup station. Yep. All right. So, so we'll got, get this one knocked over in two episodes, I think. And we'll do it all tonight. All right. I've got the instructions. I'm not. I'm not doing anything tonight, but just. Is it? So you're just I'm, being. I'm just you. going to be obnoxious and in the way. So just typical you. Is that yep. what you're saying? Yep. Excuse me while I just walking around looking for stuff. Where's the parts trays? Who's had the parts trays? Nathan, have you got the parts trays? Yeah, Nathan's here as well, but he's hiding in the background. Are you saying parts trays or? Parts there you go. Trays? There's one. There's two. two. We don't need them. Do we? No. So tell, tell us about them. What so, are they, so we got we got some brass bushes and we got some nylon bushes. I'd say the bronze scented bushes are probably for would I assume correct saying they're for the gearbox? I'd say they're probably under yeah more high torque applications. More, more load, like like maybe the pinion shaft or something like that. Yep. But we're not using any of these. No. Because we're going bearings. We're gonna go that's right. So we're these roller race. you can pretty much just throw them away. Give them to Nan downstairs. Oh yeah. Hey? Nan will love them. Alright, so what's step one, mate? Step one. Attaching spur gear. Alright, where is it? Got some so, arrow You need the spur gear package. Here we go. Tamara's got it. Is she under control? I think so. Here we go. <coughs> Put them over here. Do you like the new mat, mate? Got your new mat this week. I, I tell you what, I actually do like it. It's fast blue. Yeah, so what size driver do you need? We've got that... We've actually got that Tamiya screwdriver I bought in. That black... That, that is a Tamiya JIS screwdriver and that is really, really good for these screws. Tamiya Craft Tools. That is really good for these screws. I well, didn't think... Are the Tamiya craft parts, right? And I reckon they've labelled it tools, and you're probably the tool. 
You're right. You're dead right there, mate. What have we got? What about some screws, you're mate? Being, you're being very quiet, Tamara. <laughs> Jeez, nothing, hey. nothing happened there, did it, mate? <laughs> it just, it was like, hey, <laughs> like the deer in the headlights. <laughs> yep, it was. You better open up some screw packets for me over there, mate. What do you want? Now, to me, screws are all sort of just emptying them out. Parts one. bag. Here you go. This is, looks all differential stuff to me. Parts bag A. Oh, hang on. Hang on, no, 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 no. We'll go with. Put them I'll there, slice it trays. and I'll pass it to you. Yep. So just empty it all out in the tray there. Yep, empty it into the tray. Give me the rubbish. Bags upon bags. Yep. Alright, so what do we need? I've got a spur gear. You said spur gear, there's a spur gear. So you got the spur. Yep. Uh, you need 2 by 2 mil by 10 pin, like a solid pin. Yep. You got that? No. What parts bag would that be in, mate? Um, was well, parts bag A. It's saying right, parts that. bag A. Oh, well, here it is in there. I can yeah, see which it. is the one tomorrow's just opened. Do you need this? Just be careful to using it. I'm not allowed near sharp knives. Don't because me if, you, if you want to stab Brett, just make sure it's That's right. once and once That's only. That's why you're in the middle of us, because last time there was a nasty accident. Yeah. And then never got to the hospital. <laughs> 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 she's still she's still up the road on that motor. She's player. still on Flinders Street bleeding. <laughs> All right. All right. That's it. Two by ten mil pin. <coughs> Excuse me. You need the rear propeller joint shaft. Okay, now what parts tree is that on? That's gonna be on a big old parts tree. No, is it plastic? Yeah. Here we go. It's more like steel, isn't it? I've never built one of these, ever. No, you need the um, rear propeller joint. The rear propeller joint? Yeah, that's what the, sh the, the prop shaft goes into. Yeah. That one? Yep. Don't hand it to me, I'm not building it. Is Two that the one. long one? Uh, C5. It's got C5 on it. It's got a pin in it? Just pass it here and I'll check it on the actual book because it's one to one. There you go. Yep. That's the one. All right, so what has to happen here? Um, you need a bearing? Yep. It will, a plastic bearing. I've got but it doesn't. Ones here. it does not give me a size. I'd say it's the white one, which is probably 10 by five. Is that correct? Uh, there's 12 by eight by three, and there's no, 11 by fives. It'll be that's 11 by five. Set. It'll be 11 by five. Yep, here you go. So Over it slides there. on first. All right, tomorrow I'll do that then. You do that. Where did you put it? What? Yeah. Bearing on. Check. <clears throat> Check. Spur gear stopper, which is GB2. Gear bags 2. Yeah? GB2, it says in the book. Is it plastic? Is it? Is it like a... Is there a plastic... It's like a round... It's hard. It's like I'm doing this remotely. You are. This is like... This is like the Three Stooges. DB2 is going to be a, a gear part. It's going to be this thing here, isn't it? Is that it? Yes, that's it. All, All over. Right. Hey, BJ, how you going? Hi, Hi. BJ. All right, I've got the gear stopper. So it goes, so the, you got the bearing, yep. the gear stopper, then the pin. Then the pin. Got a pin here. Yep. Doesn't it's like look, the blind leading the bind. Does, blind, doesn't, does blind, not look blind. right. Oh, that's because it goes like this, huh? Then we put the gear on. Yep, does the, the stopper should locate in it, shouldn't it? You'd hope so. Well, that's kind of how it's looking. Like so? Can I have a look, please? Is that right? He hasn't done half a bad job. Half a bad? Just that's, half. That's a compliment coming from that's, you. That's I'll like, take that's that. like, you know, like... I wonder if he's put it on backwards like the front arms. Or the body post. Oh, oh. this guy. It's the pins this just guy. falling out. <sighs> These two hours is going to be long. Are you right? Come on. Two hours? Yep. <laughs> didn't, didn't you get the memo? I'm stuck with you guys for two hours. Oh, she's awake. We can confirm she's awake. Just think of the love. 
Or is it like the lack of phone time? Is it starting to eat again? No, it's right over there. Oh my god, it keeps falling out. Are you right? <laughs> Tell you what, there's your pin, mate. You put it back together. I've lost the space in that. Jeez, Ted. Do, do you want me to build this one? You do that. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd be. Uh, I thought you'd be handy doing transmissions and gearboxes. It's all plastic, mate. Yeah, it's, it's high this, quality. It's not real. It's not real. You won't say that when I'm lapping you. Yeah, right. Hey? You let me with this, mate. It's all over for me. Well, all right. So, it's got to clip into the into the back here. Yep. So you clip need to... In. You need to... Do Does it doesn't need any more bearings in the case or anything? Well, it's not showing it. It's, it's not showing anything. Well, in it goes. Just smash it in there. I can't see. <laughs> Can you see tomorrow? Don't drop the pin. Don't lose that pin. If you lose the pin, you're dead. Can't get it in there? It's not the type of thing that has to be assembled. Yeah, that, that doesn't look right. That sucks. Pretty sure that's right. You know what? You know what? what? You know what? You've got to assemble it in there. What kind of a dodgy person? Would pre-assemble it. Would, 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 you know, assemble it before it goes in. We've got you here. Did you, did you hear something then? It's like a backseat driver somewhere. Is it? Yeah. Probably on his L plates. Sure, don't talk about that. <laughs> well, at least you know somebody that can rebuild the gearbox. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! It's so, in. It's running straight and right, We're finished. That's the end of the build. <laughs> Feels like it. Um, you know the other prop shaft to go in the front? The, you know, like the, the... I suppose, do you have to... That one? It's not even showing putting a bearing on it. Ah, uh, yep. No, no, it's not right. That's not right. It's not even showing a bearing. It probably goes in the case after. We can't. You sure? Yeah. Come on, this this shouldn't be too complicated for you, mate. Goes in the front one first, slide it in. Lift up the back one. And then we go like this. We will lift it up on a slight angle, drop it in. There okay. you go. Now we're finished. Let's go to the track. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. So the next one. Yep. So you got a bag with a motor plate or something in it? Like a, a steel, a steel flat motor plate. Um, it's a plastic one. Or is it plastic? Is it? <laughs> It'll be on a parts tree. Okay, no, it's not on a tree. What part does it say? Brett needs that. That's an insulator, actually, that goes on the motor. It stops dust getting in. Tomorrow's we'll go. got that. You need the pinion gear. Yeah, the pinion gear's here. Which is there? Where is the motor plate? What parts tree? It is. Doesn't say what part. What do I do with this? Just goes over over the motor and those holes, the holes in the gasket or whatever it is, lines up with the, the two holes in the motor for the screws. Tomorrow probably have better luck doing this on our own. Does that look like it? Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Yep. Got me nine steps nippers here. You got your nippers. You go. Is that the one? Yep. Um, you've got a grub screw. Off part street and dead. 1.5mm driver. Pass me that. And there should be a little grub screw. Is there a tiny little grub screw there? Have we been dodged on the grub screw? Right. Here you go, old man. Probably need one and a half in there, mate, not the two. Try the one and a half. <laughs> there is none there. <laughs> Oh. You, you've done. You've you've reamed me again. <laughs> oh, sometimes the simplest things are the best, aren't they, Tamara? What motor screws are we looking for? Uh, metric uh, six by three mil, obviously. Uh, what parts bag were they from? They didn't say. <laughs> no, it doesn't. 
It's it's got MA six and that's it. So that would be in A parts back. There'll be normal thread. Yeah, M three. Yeah. So you'll have them, won't you? Already. I hope so. Well, you got no idea. Uh, no idea for the minute, but I'm still opening parts bags. It's the beauty with these is that you just keep opening bags until you find the right one. Oh, that's awesome. It's not numbered per <coughs> step or bag. Anyway, I've got to measure. Do we have verniers hiding around somewhere? Yeah. Whereabouts? Where? You got the Daytonas? Oh, that's actually got your Mediotos in there. I wonder where they went. <laughs> <coughs> Because you said to me that you'd never buy another pen, I thought I'll show you. So, what's good about this is, to me it give you a measurement to set the pinion at. Yep. And off the can. It... And guess what? I'm about half a millimetre out. So what you're saying is you did it wrong. What I'm saying is, I was just on point. Um, a half a millimetre out on point. Look at that, 15 mil. He's good. He's pretty good. Some motor screws, I reckon. So, was, sorry. So we just chuck the um, motor screws in. Yeah, you got it lined up on the. No, we just. I'm you just making gonna, it right. No, I'm just just going to chuck them in there and do them up until they strip. And then back them off a little bit. Half a turn it is. Half turn? Yep. Mate, the, last, the last time I used a Phillips head on an RC car was in 1988. Did you win that race? Probably not. Yeah. Really? That was when I built my Kyosho um, Salute. I brought it from ABC in Box Hill. Is that when you were good? That's when I thought I was good. Ah, uh, now you know. Big difference, mate. <laughs> now you know you're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that. Where's it go? Does it slot in there? Looks like it slots in there. How's it feel? <laughs> bit, bit, bit rattly. <laughs> we we'll have to put a bit of super glue in that one. Mm. What do you reckon? You got anything to add How to that looking? tomorrow? You got nothing to say. Jeez, who brought you along? You. Cool. Junior champion, junior champion truck. This one. She got plenty to say at the track. <laughs> plenty to say when something goes wrong. Just looks at me and puts their hands in the air and goes, "Do it." Well, probably because you set her up. Well, we make sure you do a better job on this truck. Yeah, radio. No worries. I can, um, I'm only yeah. just reaching out over to that. Am I looking at diffs? Is that what's going on next? Oh, so we're going to just chuck one of these gears in. We'll throw it in there. I think so. Is that what's happening? And so you've, you've obviously put the lube on the gear. Put a little bit of lube in the gear and yep. the housing. And I've just sat it in here. Yep. Spin it around. Just spread the lube around everywhere. Make sure it's all nice and coated. Mm-hmm. Now I've got the crap all over myself. Hey, what um, what diff oil are you going to put in this? Uh, just a bit of white lithium, mate. So you just you don't actually run a, a, a specific like CST diff oil? No, because it's not sealed, mate. It would just run out. Ah. There's, there's no O-rings, there's no bearings. Okay, so it's basically just just lube it up with what you've got. Yeah. Yep. Can we get some more lithium, please? Yep, lithium. Lube up those gears. I've got the crap all over me. Jeez. Might as well just not worry about it now. Yeah, and just so you clean too. It's like you've been on holiday. Yeah, and I've been under the house with the rats. Yeah? Yep. With your mates? Yep. Been just, you know, hanging out, doing hashtags. Stuff. Yep. Hashtag rat work. Yep. How's it feeling? Two mil by eight. Um, they look like self tappers. Oh, look at you go! Is that these ones? Looks like them. Well, I've got my reading glasses on today. I can see from here. Can you? No. Oh, you got nans. 
I got Nan. Nan, Nan, Nan lent me her glasses. Have we got a smaller Phillips head? Oh. Because the one that you've got just doesn't cut it, mate. Really? Yeah, it doesn't. I think you, I think you got to go borrow Nan's um, jewelry tools. Nah. No good. Oh, uh, it's kind of doing it. Still a little bit too big. Nan. Is this the one you want? No, that's just um. So what do you reckon? You gonna race it? Nope. Why not? I don't want to. What? Not gonna be fast enough, is it? Nope. I'll try and get these in by the time he gets back and I can Really? I tell you, while you were gone, right? Nan dropped in and gave me a screwdriver that worked. Oh. We had Nando's for dinner. <clears throat> Look at that. Then what? I don't know. Oh, I turned the page. <laughs> Woohoo! There's more. Oh, we need the motor cap. The plastic guard that holds the motor in, which is D10. D10? Yep. Yes, nurse. D10. D10. Just, 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 just control yourself. I'm out of control. I'm just getting pushed around here. You can't control something that's out of control, Simon. Clearly not. Do we actually have to lube up the pinion on this at all? I'm not sure because it's. I reckon it wouldn't hurt. Like it's Would not, you? It's not showing. Is it how sealed is that actual cover? Like when well, you, you've not, built one before, haven't you? It doesn't go underwater. No, but I mean, how sealed is it? Like, how's that go? Oh, I just got the crap all over me now. <laughs> how much horsepower is this going to be producing? Thirty-eight. Brake horsepower? Yeah. Is that with a standard flux capacitor or an aftermarket one? No, that's after I've got to upload new firmware now for the uh -huh. raw, for the raw. For the raw class, right? Because they have been putting boost on it, so I'm going to take off the boost softening. You got you got that sorted. Got the zip clip in. I don't think it's all the way home. Looking. While you're doing that, I'm just sort of getting through. It's very quiet on that side of the table. Well, we'll just what wait. Do you need? So three by tens. They'll be like a. Are um, they gold or are they? Are they silver or black? Well, it's not telling me what colour they are, mate. It does. Stop being, stop being like that. How many do you need? Tapping screw. Three. Three by ten. That's all it says. Wait, wait. But you can see the picture. Oh. Where's the picture? Oh. It's silver. How Three. do you know it's silver? It's black and white, mate. Oh, my God. What are you trying? I are you trying know. to confuse the situation here? Yep. Hey, water boy. I'm confused. I need a couple of tissues to wipe the um, grease off me. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher. Bobby! While you're doing that, I'm just rattling around with that. I've put a little bit more grease in the front diff because we want it to be like a spool. I've put a combination of go. grease and blue tack. We've got Tamara on the tools. That's done. You right there? Mm -hmm. Push, you push into it. Oh, you're cooked. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> i tell you what. Support of nothing like the love and support of your father, hey? Yep, no, she's cooked, done. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. I think you just need to, to um, stay, stay with social media abuse and stuff like that. Oh yeah, this. You're just a professional driver, aren't you, sweetheart? This screwdriver is horrible. Yep. What did you call me? 
<laughs> if I was talking to you, mate, it would be not PG. Well, you definitely heard a sweetheart. On camera. Just as well. Okay. You got bearings on that diff? So this is the rear diff, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, is there a pinion that goes in there? That's your opinion. We need a bearing first, mate. And we need a five by 11. I believe that's the size, is that the size? Yeah. There's only two bearing sizes in this kit, it's really good. So we just put the bearing. So you don't, you don't get confused. We just, we're gonna just smash the bearing in there. <laughs> really? Yep. That is the good screwdriver. I wonder where that went. Oh, look at that, we just popped it in there and it's all hunky dory. Well, it's nice down. It's it's like it's in the right place. So now, to me, I've optimized the. Um... So now we've got to put the pinion gear on that shaft. So I'm holding it under the camera there. You'll see the the shaft there. Can you see that? We need pinion gear. Can you find a pinion gear, please? Pinion gear. That black thing there. Can you put it on the shaft? You'll see it's got two square slots. There you go. Just sit it on and turn it until it drops all the way in, like it'll push all the way. Yep. Got it? Ah, oh, professional. Oh. Nothing holds that on. Love. Nothing holds it on. Horsepower. Horsepower and a hope Man. holds it on. Where's it going, mate? It's the first time I've ever seen a diff pinion just float. <laughs> what? I need, some, I need some lube. Which one? I need some white lube Which for one? the... Oh, I'm getting bossed around here. Might have to put her under the under the house with the rats. Can you put the bearing on properly next time, please, Brett? I'll try. Working under duress here. Can what you put the of the white stuff, please? And on the gear there. Probably gonna need a gearbox there. case, I reckon. And then you're going to be yelling at me because there's going to be grease everywhere. Oh, look at that. Tell you what, things are, things are looking up, mate. The motor's turning over. Yeah? Yep. It's not rattly? Not yet. <laughs> We're working on it, though. One of them? Look at that. Woo! That's how you build a gearbox, mate. What screws do we need to hold that case on? Oh, is this front-wheel drive? Uh, front-wheel drive from both ends. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> We need some arms. Don't you need to put this on first? Doesn't it? No, no, because the arms have got to pivot between the two cases. So, right. so we need. <coughs> so this is what we need: three by fifteen tapered heads, tapered taping screws. Okay, tapping screws, tapping, and three mil by twelve tapping screws. So fifteens and twelve. Are they black? Um, I don't yep. believe so. They you are. can see in the picture, mate. Yeah, no, but the best not the argue. The fifteens are. are black. 15 to black. But the uh, 12s are silver. Okay. We need arms. We need B4 and B14. B4 and B14. Yep. Because you've got upper and lower arms. Alright, B4 and B14. So snip them out. Get your snipper going. There's B4. There's an arm. I see an arm here. There's 9 and 10. So it's not 9 and 10, it's the front ones. There you go. B4, B14. Inside. 14. What are you trying to say here, mate? Is this the wrong parts tree? Yeah, there's double. There's two parts trees. Oh. Do you know how they go in? Because there's a left side and a right side, so there's two parts trees. So this one's got the hole in it. <clears throat> oh, ha, ha. Now look what you've done. The rear end's just fallen out. Might want to put a screw in there. Okay, so just looking at the way these arms go together, and it's not the greatest. It is. It's adjustable wheelbase. You don't, there's no sweep. I'm just checking the supplement manual. Does that look right to you? Looks right to me. I hope it's right. Yep, short wheelbase. Is that what we're going with? Yep. Really? 
We need A5, please, mate. We, we, we need A5. A5. Yeah, A5 for the top arms as well. What are those ones there? I've got you. No, no, the bracket. The A, the bracket up the top here to hold the arms, to pivot. A5. A5. It's like a top C block. You know, like the very top block for the arms to pivot on? A5, it's called. You notice a difference in the plastic as well. Each part's tree has got a different... Is that the one? Looks like something like that. Give us a look. Give us a look. See, I'll oh, tell you what. It's A5. close. It's close. That'll do for now. And uh, yeah, A10. You're just making this up now. Yeah, I am. Cause I, I like it. I A10, like it. A10 like shock that. tower. We'll call it a shock tower. Whoops! We've got a stray. A10. How's that looking? Is that right? Jeez, tell you what. Tomorrow's on the job. Looking pretty good. Now, I'll just let you in a little secret here. If Brett was building this, the arms would be on backwards. Upside down. Inside out. And I don't think the arms are right anyway. You should be able to tell there's a smear badge or something on there, isn't there? Or? Hey? Yeah, no. Nah, you've got one, one, arm's, one arm's dicky. One arm's dicky? Yep. Dicky arm? What do you need? Uh, just a bit of, just a holiday. Tablets. Nathan, you can be quiet over in the corner there. You're smirking. It's too busy. You can't even watch, mate. It's, you can't, it's a car crash. Well, it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be. So, we've got... got some screws. <coughs> yeah, look at that. Tell you what, we're not doing too bad. You like it? It's um, it's coming together okay. Could be a bit of an upgrade for the SF2. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No. See you mount this gearbox. Looking good. How? Tell me that screwdriver doesn't fit those screws really nice. No, it doesn't. <laughs> right out. Do you know what I hate about it though? How slippery the handle is. Ah, uh, yeah. The handle's terrible. Well, that's my fault. I've got grease on it. Yeah, that's right. I've got grease all over it. And it doesn't fit the screws that well. Oh. You asked me a question. I just gave you the answer. Uh. Oh. The Step 18 minus 9 works better. Yeah? Yeah, well, the handle does. That's crap, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Nathan, how much did longer? You, did you put the right screws in? Yeah, the 15s. I tell you what, this purple pumpkin eater works awesome. Good. Yeah, what brand's this? Hero Seiki. Yeah. Japanese. Japanese for Japanese screws. Yeah, there you go, mate. You know, we could have just used a Makita. Now, this is a racetrack, mate. Look at that. They're in. That's half it done. You've done so, half the build. Well, what are you up to next? No, I've got to put these other screws in yet. Just slow down, mate. I'm just trying You're to get some me. parts ready. Okay. We can't say that word. Tamara's harassing me. She's kicking me under the table. Yeah? Yep. I am not. Just your typical child abuse that the father has to deal with. <laughs> I wouldn't put up with it. I get home and Nathan bashes me. Yeah, probably. Mm. Hubs. Hubs. Hubs, hubs? Yep. Rear hubs? Yep, C7, C2, C7 and C2, and um, A6 and A6, so you've got two hubs. And the out drives, you've got C7 and you've got C2. Are oh, we keeping you is that, awake? Is that a rear hub? Looks like one, yep. Hub a dub dub. There's a hub in the scrub. There's another hub. Yep, oh, look at that. We're flying. Uh, what hubs else everywhere. Do you need? Um, we're gonna need hubs. some. We're gonna need some bearings. Please, Brett. Bearings. I can't, no. I can't bear it anymore. Here no, go. that's unbearingable. I mean, bearable. Don't take the Hero Seeky off me. Right. Okay. Well, I'm not touching them. Hey, you them. need some... Uh, where's the body clips? What do you... Did I just say body clips? I have body clips. What do you want body clips for? So I hold these in there. I think you know that. Hold what? Oh, when you're putting them... 
when you put them through the hubs. When you're just putting it together, it just helps ease the assembly. Oh, okay. There you go. Chuck, chuck, chuck that through. Was that a? That was C2s you put in there, wasn't it? I think so. Make sure it's the C2s. No. They're shorter than the C7s. Which ones are C7s? C7s are longer in the thread, like longer, you know, like in the in the shaft and the thread. Okay. It's so easy. All right. So moving along. Right along in this one. Moving right along. <laughs> Are we putting the rear end on or are we going to the front end? B pardon? Are we moving the rear end on? You're talking that way to me. Tell you what. You're very fidgety. I thank you. <laughs> um, which way does this go? Um, be the, the wide part at the bottom sort of thing. Oh <laughs> really? There's no... Oh, we'd, hang on, we need B6. Have you got a B6? Um, so I'm fresh out of stock. Really? I'm sure you have the hashtag. <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> B6.5 has just been out. So we need... Um, what is a B6? We need... Oh, that's like an under skid plate. Yeah. Yeah. You, look at you go. You are all over it. How'd you know to put them in there? Amazing. Um, three by ten sh tapping screws shiny. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Yep. Um, and tapered head three by twelve. They look black. These ones. Yeah. Oh, did you go? <clears throat> like a hat. <laughs> Reckon it goes underneath there. We'll just. We'll just. Put it upside down because that'll be how it's going to live most of its life if Brett drives it. We'll put a sticker on there. Yeah, B6. Hashtag, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Simon built. We'll just put B6. That's right. It was here. I just, sorry, is my elbow in the wall? Oh, jeez. That's, that's going to be on national. That's, that's going to be. You can't take that one back. That's, that's abuse. I've got proof now. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> that's wild, isn't it? Yeah, that's just it's just a little indication of what I deal with on a daily basis. I'm back to the Hiroshiki, by the way. Hey, uh, you've yeah. chopped and changed, that okay. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's a bit like me, just good old quality. Good old quality. Those new glasses are working out well. They are. Yep. They're not even plus ones, they're proper ones now, aren't no, they? These are the real ones. These are these are eagle eye focus. So I got rid of my retard ones. Yeah. <laughs> that I had. Yep. Um, that's only because you know I was being a total scumbag and wouldn't pay the money. That's alright. Now you can say, enjoying it? No. Like a newfound freedom? No, no, just you know what I mean? It's just it's just like why? Why has this happened? I can tell you why. I don't think <laughs> you really want to go there. Do you need some dog bones? Who let the dogs out? Can you put the doggy in? Can you get the dog bones? The axles? And we've got to put them in before we put... Oh, hang on, let me flick the chassis over the other way. And no, see them? In there and in there. I ain't touching that. I ain't touching that. You might get my finger dirty. <laughs> Millennial. <laughs> Millennial. Is that the right hinge pin even? I'm just sort of guessing here. Oh, mate, we're all over this. Yeah? Yep. How good, how's it coming together? Sl uh, sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> it's run in, mate. We've got lots of lube on everything. We want to make sure it doesn't uh, have any undue friction. So you're going for the hot lap? Uh, going to, going to finish the day, hopefully. Yep, yeah, I'm sure, good I'm milk. sure. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just give it to BJ mm -hmm. and it'll finish. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Just going on what we've done. Yes. 
This is page, well, six. page seven, but we're actually up to um, part ten. Really? Yeah, part ten. We've got some, some. I suppose you call it, is it the body posts? Body posts? Yep. Yeah. There's two types. There's B5 and B2. There's lots of Bs here. Lots of Bs? Hmm. 2B or not 2B. We've got B6s, we've got B5s. Uh, what are these B2s. ones here? B2s. B5s. There's even B4 here. Really? Yeah. Well, I haven't seen one hashtag yet either. This is late, mate. Yeah. I don't know which one's which. B13? It's not B13. Hey, hey, hey. The diff works. You did it. Woohoo. Look at that. We're full of awesomeness. Well, you're full of most of it. You've got enough awesomeness Beg your pardon? to go everywhere. Excuse me? Isn't it? <laughs> oh. Sorry? Did you. Are you blaspheming on national TV? We we'll have to use a magic red button for that one. We're I'm just, sure we're just going to right, <laughs> we're just gonna have right to body post. No, there's two. Where's the B twos? B twos? Yeah, you got. You've just given me B fives. Where's B twos, mate? B twos. B twos has got a funky kink in it. Yeah. Yeah. You like this one? That's it. We might have to change them. We might leave them till last because we we'll probably have to change them to suit the truck body. There's a supplement manual down here for the truck. So, so you're saying that, that you've got to depend on which one you use to offset the body. Yeah, which body you're running. So we'll just put them on last. We'll just worry about okay, getting well, the chassis rolling. Let's skip the B5s and 2s. Yep. Let's go on to... Front box. I'm just reading this part. Front arms. Options. Oh, they're just talking That's about... bearings. They're talking about the ball bearings. So... Is it like a round ball, which is number P7? Uh, there'll be a parts bag of P somewhere. Are you peeing? So, uh, look at that. I think their balls are in there. Yeah, I think your balls are in the bag. Oh, look at this. The old P bag. Yeah. P7, so the, the round balls. Yep, round balls. And B10 and B9, which are uh, obviously the lower front arms. Is that correct? Or is it, are they upper arms? Um, just, just. I don't know. There's B9 and B10. What else do we need? Um, well, you need two sets of them. They're upper and lower. So we need a bearing, please. Oh, uh, actually. Yeah. <coughs> have you got are a you put, putting an opinion? Yeah, just that's my opinion. And we need a couple of bearings, and we need a spacer which is called P3. P3. It's in the P parts bag. What so on the like? front diff, on the front diff, um, obviously the, the, the pinion shaft, the two bearings come in from the front. So you put the first one in, yeah, and then we need a plastic spacer which is called P3. P3. Well, I'm just trying to find the P parts tree which is here. I'm just I'm just having a look at the manual and see what P3 is, and it's not really showing it. Here you go. You got it, have you? Oh, he's got it. Might be a bit blurry. Stop looking, everyone. Do I need to? Nah, that's just like fibre. That's all right. It's just actually locked in perfect. Can I have another bearing, please? Another? Oh, my God. Can, and can we get a, another consonant and three vowels? Uh, well, you know that I've got a P problem. I don't know if we need to bring up my consonants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Nan's, not yours. Oh. <laughs> That's the prune juice. <laughs> Watch your jumper. You don't get this white green oh. on a white jumper. It'll it'll just blend in. I'm gonna I'm gonna lube this one up because we don't want to melt it. All the horsepower that's going to be developed in this transmission. It's going to be a torque monster. It'll be it'll be equivalent to probably I don't know. Probably wouldn't pull the skin off a of rice custard. A are you right? Don't go quiet on me. Uh, I, I, I think... What do you reckon tomorrow? Getting very quiet. You, what do you got to say? Anything? 
How much longer, Nathan? Hashtag TTO. Is this like a tag team? You step out and Nathan steps in? Is that what's going to happen? Because if you're going to put us through that kind of trauma, just let us know up front. <laughs> How's it going over there, Chief? Okay. What's going on? Got this all lubed up. It's in? It's not in yet. Look at that. Is it going? Have you got it in the right way? You got the front going one way, the rear going the other way. I'm just checking that because the manual. The manual. The manual. What's he up to? Yeah, he's right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's Whoa. Going right. I think there's a plastic <clears throat> stopper that actually won't let it go the other way. Well, guess what? We're, we're on top of the world. So we need the front arms that have got the mount on the bottom, like that. Where's the other front arm? The other front arm's got the mount. On the bottom. So we need a we need another A5 bracket, by the way. That one? Tell you what. This this there's no doubt about about him. What's that? Nothing. I doubt no. myself all the time. No no no. Don't you, you start doubting me. You're all good, mate. What hope have we got? You're all good. Don't worry about it. Alright. Alright. Just don't I'm worry just, about it now, at all. Now I'm really insecure. Wait till we build these shocks. Can you can you have a talk to your chair? No. It's too much squeaking that's going it? on. It's Marlon's chair. Is it? it? Is not. Yeah, Marlon's chair. Marlon's not gonna be happy. Mm. Um What have we got? Screws? We need we need another A ten. And we need some three by fifteens. Um tapping screw button head type. Black. Black I'd ones? I'd say they're black. 3x15. No, I want an A10, mate. Sorry, I want the A10, not the V6. I want the A10. That's hard work oh, sometimes. This a shock tower. Sorry, I don't know. Jeez, I just ask you for a simple part and you give me the wrong one. What have we got? It hasn't <clears> looking. I'm just, I'm, I'm working on, I've got this like, this person here that's just blocking the way. Don't talk about me like that. I'm trying. Three by tens. <clears throat> Put it in the grease. So. Three by tens. The other ones. You got big screws there. I need a three by twelve shiny, shiny disco ball. Shiny this disco one. ball. This one here. You got that one. You need that one. Yeah, too? I need this one too. All right, all right. So calm down, my art. I need to get away we're out of flying. I need to get away out of control. We're flying. Are we sure? No, yeah, we're flying. Like it's. It's a good play, Alice and I. It's on song. Yeah, it's just like all action, isn't it? The Hero Seeky driver, screwdriver, is the best of the bunch of the yep. here. Out of all that crap that you put on the table, the Hero Seeky is the best. All right. Okay. The pit mat's pretty good. Pit mat's all right, actually. You know what, I like the colour because it shows up all the parts really easy. Yeah, well that's what I thought, because we only had a black one and I thought... Black is, you know... And the problem with the white, this, the tabletop, is every time we drop something it would bounce off. Well, every time you drop something it would bounce off. Not me, I never dropped anything. Um, black balls. Yep. They pop in there nicely. Pop. Need a bit of muscle for those. Do you? A little bit. I'm going to just go Hero Seeky. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> fly right across the room. Oh! Yep. There you go. Look at that. About time you've done something tomorrow. You're going to do it upside down now. Yes, I have not confused. Don't lose it. Don't drop the balls. Ciao. Can't you squeeze it? It's tight. There you go. Toy it like a toy gun. Whoops. <clears throat> let's put let's put B6 in. B6 from underneath? B6 from underneath, so we need the um, 3x12 tapered heads. Ah, uh, 3x12s. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm just getting ready to put it in and she comes along and just smashes it out of the way. So when you want to put your part on, it's all uh, all right, isn't it? Like just you know, get rid of everyone else's stuff and just go and do your own thing. Yeah. 
good, isn't it? Oh, uh -huh. you got a dodgy CV. Ah, oh. ah, oh. yep. You know what it was? Too much grease in there. Who was the idiot that put too much grease in there? Packed it with grease. The grease monkey over there. Tell you what. Where's the tapered heads? The black ones. Black ones? Yeah, the black ones. The three by twelve tapered heads. Oh my god. Look what you're doing to me. Oh my gosh, Dan. Are you sure they're black? No, they're the wrong ones. They're twelves. I need tens. Seriously, mate. You gotta get with the how can we I can't soar with the eagles when I'm with turkeys. Are you sure that that's you're black? A turkey. I don't know if there's any more black canvas that one's left. Really? Well, that's what the manual says. It's a dark colour, so I'm assuming it's black. Yeah, you'd be right. Okay. There's a packet of screws somewhere. So, I don't know. What are you hiding on me? Have you done something that the rest of the world doesn't know about? <laughs> Smile. It's nearly done. Oh. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh my god. There's two. <clears throat> oh no. What's happened? Everyone's gone quiet. It's gone extremely like quiet. It's, it's it's a little bit sterile. Is it? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't know. Tomorrow's just got nothing to add. Not even giving us anything at all. Pop the ball in, that was alright. That was good. <sighs> What's next? What's next, sweetheart? And I'm not talking to Brett. Ah! Oh, I don't know I wanted to jump in then. <laughs> <laughs> Suck eggs. Ah, you really kill him. Can you find those? The steering spindles that Brett just put together? Are they marked left and right by any chance? Or no. they just. You just put it in, mate. Just smash it in. All right, we're just gonna. And then you need these collar things, don't you? It locks the um, ball or something, doesn't it? No, you don't need... you have collars or something in there? Yeah, up the top, and you put screws in. The stop them yeah. falling out. I need these. I know we don't want about it because I want to want them to just when they try and drive it, it does donuts. So if we leave them out, they'll be stuffed. But you're no fun at all, are you? Are we not lubing okay. them up? Yeah. Well, you didn't lube them up. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go. Don't go quiet. Oh, he's cracked it. No, nah, I'm not. He's cracked nah, it. That's it. That's it. That's it. He's cracked it. I've lost it. I've had to lube stuff up. It's not. And that wasn't in the brochure. It's not? No. The job description has nothing in it about lubing stuff up. Read your contract, mate. It's all about lubing and schlubing. <clears throat> God damn. This just went... Oh, there it is. It's alright now. What's happened? Nothing. Get a, get a tissue, oh. mate. You'll be right. It's, don't wipe the crap on me. Don't tell Nan. It's your favourite jumper. Oh my God. <laughs> Child, you're an animal. <laughs> alright, what goes on these knuckles? Isn't there some... Brass. Brass knuckles. Schnuckle schmuckle. Isn't there some uh There's a bit of lube there, but um this I think there's some plastic bit of lube caps. there. A, so <laughs> metric three by ten shiny yeah. button heads. Yeah. Shiny, shiny button heads. And then we will need, right? A mm. ones. A mm. ones, they're like a cup that the screw yeah. goes into. That one? Give me a look. Yeah, that's it. That's stop looking. Okay. And a 3x10 shiny screw. Yep. Do you need more of them? Yep. Yeah, I need four. I need I need four of them. I thought I was just a bystander tonight. Isn't there a, a washer or something on the bottom? No. What, what are you talking about? Alright. No, I wouldn't know. Where's the 3x10s? Alright. God, I've got to do everything on my own. Not easy being green. Got a bit of grease on that one, mate.
How's it looking now? Oh, mate. Tell, tell me. What, I, I tell you what. Nana will even be able to go down to the market. I reckon on once you get this screw in, we'll, we'll have a quick recap, and I think we'll call this episode it. And then we'll do uh, episode one of the TT, episode two of the TTO. But really? What do you reckon? So does that mean that Tamara's sacked? Well, she can come back in the next one if she wants. Yeah, I reckon she'll bail on us, mate. <laughs> I sure. I think she's like that'll be too much trauma. <laughs> All right. So what have we got, Simo? What page are we up to? So page 10 of the actual book, but yep. section 18 is the next Step one. Step number 18. Step so number 18. we're a good halfway through the bill. Which is, is, is damp, damper assembly. Yeah, the damper assembly. That's yep. like a, a traditional dough. That's all right, we're nearly there. I tell you what, we're smashing it out. Yeah. No, we're, we're done. An easy, they go together the, really well. An easy three hours on the next build, next session and we'll be finished. All right. All right, guys, so we'll do a bit of a recap. So we've got the TTO1 to me Euro truck. We've got it well underway. Brett didn't put the arms in backwards. We're at the step 18. We've got the motor in, we've got the transmission, the gearbox built. Young Tamari here, the stars really before. Look at those diffs. They're right. awesome. Mate, the motor's you in upside down. Yours. That's all right. It goes faster that way. Okay. Cool. <laughs> that's all right. I'm sure it won't pose a problem. All right, guys, that's Hearn's Hobbies. That is episode one of the Tamiya uh, Euro truck, TTO1 build. And I've been joined by Simon Me. Healy. Me. Tamara Healy. Her. And myself. You. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and join us on episode two. See Thank you, guys. Care. Bye.